So I'm still debating whether the March 64 is the one that is most speaking my name, and I have to find out if it's in my mind if it's going to have enough background pieces because I like to have different colors and patterns and themes that I get garner to be in the background. And then I have to think if it's going to have enough specific pieces because I like to use my really detailed work with, let me see, with these little collage scissors here to cut out things in fine detail. And this, the pieces have to have enough form to them to add fluidity and movement on top of the grid work that I do for the background. And so I was thinking that I like, I, even though I don't like to use, you know, those exot, exoticized others, I do like the um, feeling of this guy because I like the way he's kind of looking off that I, and the way he's um, going somewhere or has movement. Even though he's standing still, he's still moving. And I'm thinking about he would look good placed on top of, say, the JFK funeral pieces to juxtapose this kind of, you know, reality with the pomp of the JFK funeral. So, you know, that's the kind of thing I, I have to find. Neither None of these issues is really, you know, screaming at me right now, but I am going to force things, so that's what I do. I force, I, I will have to go through here and force material, like I like this pattern here, so I will use that in one of the backgrounds. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm pretty well, I guess I'm going to set on this one since we talked about it. And now I'm going to go through with my itty bitty teeny tiny scissors and that's what takes a very long time to go through because I usually have to go through a couple rounds and um, it may take me the evening to do that and I might have to finish this at another time but I'll stop here. Okay, so I started cutting out the pieces and I realized there's no way that I can document while I'm cutting because I, have, I go into a total zone. like. I go through every fragment of the magazine, every possible thing, like places where you wouldn't even expect to find something collage worthy. Like, for example, I just found like the graphics on a package of Noor gelatin that I like the graphics and like just fringe patterns and I just have to be in this complete zone because these patterns and rhythms and images start coming to my mind and I see how they work on top of each other and how they flow together and how things are going to create a movement and how colors interact and to do that I cannot be interrupted. I just have to be there and do it. But So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video installment because I think I can only make them so long anyway to put it on YouTube. And so this is the one I'll post tonight or whenever I get to it. And then I will do another one that shows all the pieces that I selected and why and maybe my initial layout. But before I leave you tonight, I wanted to say <laughs> I cut out this lobster for you because I love you. Here's a lobster. Have it. Loves and kisses. Back to cutting. And Katie D makes a collage. Part one. Okay, see you around.